Hey, welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And today we're going to be talking about hurricane preparedness. Now, if you notice, you really haven't heard too much about this on the news because of everything else that's going on between all the unrest that's been happening throughout the country, throughout the world, matter of fact. Uh, you know, the whole pandemic thing, that's just a whole nother story. They just keep updating that and everything. But if for everybody that lives along the coast or within 200 miles of inland, you really need to be paying attention because as of the day that this is shot, and today is Mother's Day, you have 23 days until hurricane season begins. Now, over the last six years, typically we do have a storm that arrives a little bit early. It likes to be the first one, if you get what I'm saying. But you want to make sure that you are starting to prepare. If you have not been starting to prepare, you need to get on the ball, folks. Prices have already started jumping all across the board on all different types of products and everything else. So it's going to cost you more money at this point. And prices are only going to keep going up. That is the big issue for a lot of people. They may not have the funds to make sure that they have enough supplies to get them through a hurricane or a hurricane season. Because you see, you just don't plan for a storm when all of a sudden they say it's coming your way. Because by that time, it's just too late to get out and get all the supplies and stuff you need. Because there's going to be a whole bunch of people that are going to be doing the same thing. And you're not going to be able to get what you need to survive the storm. So right now is a great opportunity for you to make sure that you're going through your hurricane survival preparedness kits. Make sure that you're going through and making a list of the things that you need to add, the things that you would maybe like to see if you could purchase, and see if you do a little bit of research, maybe you can catch some good deals or some of those things on sale. Now, a lot of different states do have what they call a tax-free period for your hurricane supplies. Like here in Florida, they always have a tax-free on your large items, on batteries and flashlights and all this kind of stuff. And that's usually when a lot of people want to get out there and get the stuff, which is a great thing. But you got to figure if everybody's rushing to the stores on the tax-free days, and if they're looking to buy a big ticket item, say generators, um, battery banks, anything like of this nature, then you're going to have to sit back and hopefully make sure that you can get yours. You want to be the first in line. You got to be up first. It's going to be like Black Friday shopping, folks. As soon as the clock strikes midnight of when those tax-free days start, you want to be out there. You want to get your stuff. And then you can get home and go back to bed while everybody else is doing the mad rush the next morning. You can sleep through it. You have a lot of your like super Walmarts that are open 24-7. Well, that's your perfect opportunity. Because as soon as the clock strikes midnight, guess what, folks? It's tax-free time. So get into the stores, get your supplies, and then get out and go home. No different than a Black Friday. And you can go back to bed and sleep comfortably knowing that you are prepared for this upcoming hurricane season. I wanted to bring a quick video about that because I really haven't seen too much talk about the upcoming hurricane season. Everything is everything else. Everything is all the other crap that's going on in the world and everything else that's on a daily basis. And nobody's really talking about what is coming down the pike. We know hurricane season is coming around. We know they're actually predicting that it's going to be a above average year. I Hopefully it's not like it was last year with all the name storms that we did have. But if you, like I said, if you do live in a hurricane prone area or within 200 miles of the coast, you need to be prepared. You need to make sure that you are putting together your list. Make sure that you do have your foods. Make sure you have water. Make sure that you have batteries. Make sure you have some way to charge your cell phone, solar, generators, extra gas. The list goes on and on, folks. I have a whole playlist that I'm going to put up right here on hurricane preparedness. Go back through, watch the videos. It's gonna help you out, especially if you just move to an area and you don't know what to plan for or what to expect. It's not a fun time. You always hear about people always kidding around about, oh, let's have a hurricane party and everything else. Well, folks, you know, if it's a one or two, okay. But once you get above that two, it's no longer a party, folks. It's survival. And you have to make some serious decisions on what you're going to do, where you're going to go, 
and how you're going to survive the storm. So having a plan in a hurricane type situation is key to your survival. And speaking of survival, I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And until next time, you all start planning your own survival. Get out, get your supplies, get your plans together, get your shopping lists going, and get it done before the storm is knocking on our door. Till next time, catch you on the flip side.